Launch weekend special code ESPRESSO gets you 30% off your entire order at gfuel.com. If you're interested, check it out. As I'm sure you're jumping into Modern Warfare shortly, there's a few things with the early time that I want to discuss with you in relation to the game to make sure that you know full well what's coming and how to accomplish things the best way as possible, and one of those things was the new camo system that I wanted to talk to you about. Recently, I was able to go out to Los Angeles and capture some footage of the full game of Modern Warfare and get an understanding of what we'll be jumping into very shortly, and the camo system was perhaps one of the biggest renovations or reinventions, however you want to put it, that we were able to get a peek at. Today, we're going to break down how this new system works, a preview of a decent chunk of the camos, and talk about the upcoming mastery camos that it seems like it will take absolute ages to get. All that and more will be discussed, so sit back and relax. If you're new, do be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare. We're, of course, going to be killing it here in the upcoming days, so do stick around if you guys like what you see. And also, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you a fan of this system? Are you guys a fan of the camos that we'll be seeing? And what do you think of the mastery camos when we get to talking about that? But anyways, jumping into the camos, this year looks to be wild. If you remember back to the blog post in which it detailed that we'd end up seeing 100 camos per weapon, yeah, that wasn't any exaggeration or anything like that. There's seriously 100 camos for each weapon, and that's before you've reached your completionist camo challenges, the mastery challenges to get gold and such on each weapon. But what's different about this year is that it takes a whole nother section of your weapons into account. Gunsmith was created in Modern Warfare to make the weapons the main character of the game outside of that narrative for single player, and Infinity Ward wanted to give the weapons that you play with life. They wanted to give them meaning for using them, and naturally, with every single year, we of course get attachments with ranking up the weapons, but it's exponentially upscaled this year. Weapon ranks go well upwards of 70 plus for some weapons like rifles, and a tremendously high number for others as well, and that's considering one weapon not the half dozen or so that are in each classification for each weapon case like a rifle, like an SMG, like an LMG or sniper and so on. Camo progression this year plays on this with a gunsmith rank that goes that high. As you rank up your weapon, you'll not only unlock new attachments for each weapon that you're working on, but you'll also unlock the base camo of new camo categories every so often. Another thing that was hinted at in that blog post, but never really was truly detailed in depth. In Modern Warfare, each weapon has 10 weapon categories, all with subsidiary camos inside each category. The categories and camos are the same across the board, but have varying challenges in some cases, depending on the classification of weapon. For example, some of the sniper rifles will have challenges for one shot, one kills, whereas SMGs or rifles obviously won't have that. They're not favored for those one shot engagements, so they'll have a different challenge in place. But across the game, you'll end up seeing the categories of spray paint, woodland, digital, urban, splinter, topo, tiger, stripes, reptile, and skulls. Each of these camouflage categories are unlocked at specific weapon levels, again, varying depending on the weapon class. You'll end up unlocking rifle categories at higher levels than, say, pistols and everything in between simply based on the max level of whatever that weapon is. It's incremental based upon completion of that max rank for each weapon. Now, what's cool, or I guess depending on who you ask, kind of daunting, is the fact that when you unlock each weapon category for camos, you unlock the base camo for that category as well as nine more additional challenges with subtle camo variations to unlock. This is how you work towards gold camo and above in Modern Warfare. From here, you'll find things like regular old kill challenges and getting a certain amount of kills on that weapon. Others will be things like a certain amount of mounted kills, others including headshot kills, crouching kills, hip fire kills, long shots, one shot, one kills, kills while using all attachment slots on your weapon, and so on and so forth. Truthfully, I didn't get to unlock all the camo categories. I was initially too focused on the gameplay of my rifles and M4 in particular, and only noticed that the levels were much lower on other things to max out on things like your SMGs and others later on into the capture sessions that we had. But what you'll notice when scrolling through the camos on screen now is that up until where I got with Tiger Camo, again, I didn't get too much further past that, but up until Tiger Camo and what I can preview with you guys now, is you have some camos that are 100% rooted in realism. And honestly, all of them kind of are. They're believable camos, nothing's really too far out there, nothing's too crazy, but if you like some pizzazz, there are some colorful ones, but still again, rooted in the traditional camo categories. 
But not to get too far off topic, you'll also notice the challenges and incremental gains that you'll need for each challenge. We'll have 10 categories of challenges per weapon, similar to what we've seen in the past, but on a much larger scale because that only opens up then the challenge you can do for each of those. We've had 100 headshots before, but not that plus 100 hip fire kills, not plus 100 crouching kills, and so on and so forth to unlock the max camo of each category. The nice part about the way that it's set up too is that you know what each camo looks like once you unlock the specific category. You'll get that base camo for each category, but after that, you can look at every single one in that camo category. You don't have to finish that specific camo to see it previewed on your weapon. Instead, you can preview it beforehand. This to me helped out when deciding which one I really wanted to grind for, but of course, if you're going for completion, you want to go for all of them. This system adds a whole new dynamic to the grind on top of what is an already crazy dynamic of having to rank up your weapons. So perhaps the best way that I'd say to get this done as fast as possible would be to focus on each challenge set as you rank up your weapon. That way you don't spend X amount of time ranking up your weapons and then another X amount of time doing the challenges. I'd do them as you go. Make it a little bit easier on yourself so you don't have to go X down to Y. You can instead just go from X to Y like a straight line. But what's actually crazy to me though is how long this will take even if you do all of that. I was talking with Joe Seacott at Infinity Ward at our event and we were talking about the depth and the design intent with some of the camos and what they set out to accomplish with the grind of this game and what all would be available. And then I point blank asked him, what's the average that you've tracked in completing a single gun gold? Because, of course, we take a look at everything here and it seems exponentially larger and much more of an in-depth thing to get gold compared to what we've seen in recent years, where you've had a couple of headshots that you had to get, about 100 of those, and then some mastery challenges for like five bloodthirsties and things like that. But everything we've seen so far seems to indicate a lot more going into it. He said that right now, the in-house completion of gold camo ran on the average of around 18 hours of game time and that's for one singular weapon with gold camo. You have right around that magic mark of 40 weapons, if I'm not mistaken, in this game, one of which is a riot shield, multiple of which are pistols, and so on. So 18 for every single weapon, 18 hours is quite a bit. Now, the big key factor with this is that that's an average. Grindy players will definitely knock it out so much quicker than 18 hours, but only shaving off maybe a few hours, perhaps, maybe at best, shaving about half that time off, so it's about 9 hours a weapon, but that's still around 15 days of playtime to get the max camos in the game. Players like me, who of course play the game a lot, but don't necessarily focus on the camos themselves or the challenges at hand, might not even get it in 18 hours per weapon. So that's something to consider as well, but the max camos definitely seem like it's going to be something that take quite a bit of time to achieve. Which, let's talk about that, why don't we? What are the secret camos in Modern Warfare? As it stands right now, I haven't seen them, you haven't seen them unless you come back to this video later on, but what camos can you expect in place of gold, diamond, and dark matter like we've seen before? Is it something that's going to have a realistic base of a camo that can take the top grind in Modern Warfare? Well, according to Joe from my conversation with him, we have gold camo for the standard completion of one weapon. That's nothing really out of the ordinary. We also have to look forward to, though, in weapon classification completion, the category of platinum. And then finally, once you have completed every single camo challenge in the game for every single weapon, you'll unlock Damascus in that Dark Matter tier. As it stands right now, those were the names I was given. Perhaps they're subject to change. For example, last year's pre-launch capture event of Black Ops 4, we saw Gold, Diamond, and Singularity camo. But as we all know, that's not the final camo name that we had gotten in MP, and if you took a look at the camo pattern back then, it also wasn't the same as what we had with Dark Matter. But we ended up seeing that later on it was called Dark Matter, and of course we had that introduced in MP, and later on in Zombies and Blackout, but for the time of when I was talking with Joe, he told me it was Gold, Platinum, and Damascus. So he assured me that it was nothing super over the top, like we wouldn't see anything animated gold or anything that we'd seen in Black Ops 4 or something like that, and that Damascus was an accurate representation in that almost oil in the water feeling that Damascus steel can give off. The one reference image that, if I remember correctly, did have some blue in it that he showed me, but again, I don't have the actual camo to cross reference and verify, but it still looks like something that will be well worth a grind. With how we see some of the regular camos look in this game, that if you would have told me that's what we're getting, I wouldn't have been too excited for, but some of them do look promising. But a nice part about the grind is that it's going to be worth it. If you're going to put the time towards it, it's not something where somebody, at least as we know right now, can jip you off and get some footage out there before your work is showcased because 
well it's not showcased anywhere we couldn't see it in private matches we couldn't see it you couldn't even take a look at the completionist challenges before you got to gold on a specific weapon so that's something that of course it's going to take a long time for this to be showcased but as time progresses we will put up some gun guides here to help you get that as fast as possible some road to gold stuff some road to damascus perhaps and of course whenever there's footage out there we'll do our best to cover it to let you guys know exactly what it's looking like and to see if it's worth it to you but to me there is absolutely no doubt that this is perhaps the most in-depth camo system we have ever had in call of duty i'm partially wondering that even if after that they end up saying let's go a step further let's pull a world war ii and add another level where you'll have to say prestige your weapons to get another thing on top of that but that's purely speculation and honestly likely never to happen but we still have our hands full regardless we have so many challenges a hundred challenges almost in terms of weapon camos because we have those 10 that are given to us at their very base so around like 90 to 95 camo challenges per every single weapon that's going to be a ton of work to put into it. I'm excited for it, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. That's where we're going to wrap it up. What do you think of this new camo system? Are you guys excited for being able to grind out camos in a much larger capacity than ever before? Are you guys happy with the camos that we've seen so far? Are you guys excited to hear about Damascus and maybe grind towards that? Whatever it may be, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Do stick around here on the channel because we are going to be killing it with content here, not only today, but also all throughout launch and so much further afterwards i'm excited to jump into the grind again and give you guys all that i can in terms of the best content possible but make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing and if you guys also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram those are the best places to get kind of fun on youtube practically live on both those if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below once that out of the way thank you guys all so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace